Welcome to the second video in the series of creating a 3D game inside of Constructs. In the last video, we set up a simple camera so we can look around. Now we want to add some player movement as well. So first thing we can do is insert a new object, scroll down until we get to keyboard, and we just insert it. So now we've got a keyboard in our project that we can start using. Next, we can go to our event sheet, add a new event, I'm going to check if a key is pressed. So key is down. I'm going to use it up, down, left, and right, but you can set this up for W, S, and D as well. So done. And then what we want to do is we want to take our player and we want move at angle. So we'll scroll down until we find that option. There it is, move at angle. And we're going to set the angle to be 3D camera dot camera x rotation so it's taking the current rotation of where the camera is at the moment to work out where we need to move by and distance we can set to 200 pixels times dt now dt means delta time or in-game time so this is 200 pixels per second essentially now doing this is really good but we have to do this 200 every single time so what we're going to do is we're going to right click I'm going to create a new global variable called speed. We're going to set speed to 200 instead. Then we're going to go back to our code we've just written. I'm going to change that 200 to say speed instead. This just means that we've got a really quick way to change our speed across the board by changing this one variable. It's going to changing four lines of code for each direction. Once we've done that, we can copy and paste this code below. And we're going to change the key. So now I'm going for the down key. And all we're doing with this is double clicking and we're changing our speed from a positive to a negative. So when we're moving backwards, we're moving in the opposite direction. Then we're going to copy and paste our code again. I recommend copy and pasting the move forward code for this. And we're going to set up our left. So click left. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to double click. And we want to make sure speed times dt stays the same. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to minus 90 for our camera X rotation to do our left movement. We're going to copy and paste this once more. We're going to do the right arrow key this time. And we're going to set this to a positive in the 90. So all that done, making sure you've got up down, left and right set up. We can run this now. And you can see left and right is more of a strafe. And then we can move forward and back so we can move around our level. We can also use the camera to rotate and look about as well.